Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina next door. Welcome back to my channel. I am sure you have seen these gold Dollar Tree chargers before, and if not, you're about to see a whole bunch of them coming this holiday season. But I am not fond of the gold, so I decided to give them a farmhouse makeover and make them look like galvanized metal. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this, please keep watching. Now, in order to achieve this galvanized metal look, I am going to use four different paints as well as a sealer to protect the finish. And I will be naming each one as I go through, as well as including a link in the description box below. Now, before you start painting, you're going to want to sand these chargers. They have a very glossy finish, and in order for the paint to stick, you have to sand them first. So either use a sanding block that you may have on hand, Dollar Tree carries them, or just a small sheet of sandpaper. Make sure to get all of the indentations as well as the outside edge. After you're done, make sure you take an old rag and wipe off all of the excess dust. Now, the first paint I'm going to use is Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color Castle. Now, this is what I had on hand, but if you don't happen to have this particular one, you can use any simple gray as your base color. Now what I like to do is put a dollop of paint right in the center and for something like this I like to use makeup sponges but I didn't have any. So I learned this little trick from my girlfriend Martha over at Cuban Curls and what she does is cuts up a magic eraser sponge and it works like a charm. Now one of the reasons I am dabbing the paint and not using a paintbrush is because I don't want any brush strokes in this and by dabbing it it kind of gives it a non-uniform look to the surface and it makes it look more like metal. And that is what we're trying to achieve here. I do only one coat of this and touch up any orange areas that still might be peeking through the gold. And once I am done with this and it's dry, it should look something like this. All right, so for the next step, what we're gonna use is the Folk Art Brushed Metal in dark gray. Now, you guys have seen me use these paints before in my map that I did for the wall, and I absolutely love these paints. They really do make um, your projects look like real metal. And what I'm doing here is taking a brand new little sponge piece, and I am dabbing it all over in the same way that I did that very first layer. Now the key to making this look like metal and not like a whole bunch of little dabs everywhere is that you need to make the dabs kind of connect. You kind of want to drag your sponge as you're stippling and you want to make sure that you're connecting everything together even though everything has a different um, depth or lightness to it. You want to vary how hard you press in and how light in other areas. And by doing that variation of pressure, that's what's gonna give you the metal look. And of course, once you're done with that layer, this is what it's going to look like. So now you're gonna come in for the final silver layer. And this one is the Folk Art Brushed Metal in Brushed Silver. And again, it's the same process. Take the little sponge and dab it everywhere using different types of pressure and making sure that the silver kind of connects. Now, this is the layer where you're gonna give it your touch. If you want it really silver and bright, add some more silver. If you think you went a little bit too heavy handed with that light silver, then you can go back and get the darker gray sponge and then add more little bits of that darker gray. But this is where it really starts looking like galvanized metal. Also, don't forget to always get those outer edges. And this is what it's gonna look like when that layer is dry. Next, we're gonna go for that little finishing touch and no galvanized metal is complete without a little bit of rust. So I'm gonna take that Folk Art in Nutmeg. Now this is the antiquing medium and I am just gonna dab it on my finger and I am gonna rub it on the edges and over those little, um, I guess, dots on the border of that charger and it is going to make it look like rust at the very edge. It's really simple, add as much as you want or as little. Or if you don't like the rust, you can totally leave this out. 
Now once that was dry, I wanted to give it a clear coat in order to prevent chipping, so I used polycrylic protective finish in a clear satin. However, if you don't want to use that, you can totally use a matte finish Mod Podge. Now this goes without saying, but I feel like I have to mention, either of these sealing options does not make this food safe. So this is just for decorative purposes only as far as the chargers are concerned, so always make sure to not put food on them. And here is a quick progression of what these chargers go through and how they look after each step. Oh, and by the way, I found metal galvanized chargers over at Pottery Bond's website for $10 a piece, and that's on sale, people. So this definitely saves you some money for that look. And here is how this little farmhouse play setting comes together. Oh, and by the way, that cute little napkin ring is a Dollar Tree DIY. So let me know if you guys want to learn how to make it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to give this a thumbs up if you did and let me know what you think in the comments below. These are gonna be perfect for holiday get togethers with the family. And if you guys wanna see any other farmhouse versions of these Dollar Tree chargers, let me know as well. I hope you guys stick around by subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.